you know, some people in this world can't handle can't handle rejection. Like you may have a um, a man or a woman where you know, like let's say if it's a, it's an attractive woman, and a man she tells the man, "I don't really like your ass like that," and the man can't get the hint that she doesn't fucking like him or vice versa. There's some people in this world that they can't get the hint that you don't like them. And it's not even just relationships, just people in general. It could be strangers. It could be family members. Some people just can't take the hint. Like, hey, bro, I don't fucking like your ass. Like they, they, they can't take that. Like, like it's just something like their brain just can't compute that you don't fuck with them. It just can't compute. Right. You tell them, hey, I don't really like you like that or I don't really want to be around you like that. They still they will still keep trying to be around you. They'll still ask you, do you want to hang out with me? Do you want to go get something to eat with me? Do you want to go do this with me? And you told them that you really don't like them like that. And they'll still keep asking you them damn questions. You know. I don't know about you, but if a person don't like me. You know, I'm fine with that. I'm not going to force a relationship with somebody. I don't care who it is, family, strangers, etc. If I don't if, if I know that nigga don't like me, I ain't going to force nothing. You know, it needs to be organic. You know, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. People just can't get that hint. You know. And that's an example of nar- like a narcissist will a narcissist will never leave you alone. They'll always keep bothering you, trying to be up under you when you don't even like that motherfucker. You know, it's fucking crazy. You tell them, "Hey, I don't, re- I don't really want to be around you. I don't want to talk to you." Uh, well, why you don't want to talk to me? Because I don't like you. Well, why you don't like me? Because I just don't. You know, I, 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 you know, I don't need to give you an explanation. You know, it's only so many times you can tell somebody to leave you alone before you start di- before you start disrespecting them. You know, shit. I just want to be alone, bro. I really don't want to talk to really anyone. Shit. Niggas love bothering you. Niggas love disturbing your disturbing your peace. That's why once I get established, nigga, I'm I'm going like nigga, I'm going ghost, nigga. I'm changing my number. And I'm just going to fucking just stay stay solo dolo. You know? Cuz I really don't fuck with niggas like that. You know? Cuz niggas get on my nerves, man. And this is going to be a part, this is going to be a two-in-one two video, part two of the video. People are offended when you want freedom. People are offended when you want to do things on your own terms. Th- that offends them. When you tell them, I want to wake up without... Uh, 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 uh. They get offended when you tell them that you want to wake up when you want to, that you want to do this when you feel like it, that you, you know, you know, when you want to do things, when you feel like doing it, people will get angry because, and they'll say you're lazy, you know, because you were born in a world where majority of your life you're spent doing things that you don't want to fucking do. You're spent doing things that you don't feel like it. So we've been conditioned to do things that we don't feel like doing. So people think that's that's what your life needs to be about. There's there's constantly doing things that you don't feel like doing. You know. And people are also offended, which I don't understand how a person is offended by you by actions that don't affect nobody else. 
you know, the, your actions only affect you or or my actions only affect me, but somehow you're offended by me wanting to live my life in the way I want to live it. It's not affecting you and your family, but you're so predicated on my existence. I just don't see why a person gets offended when you tell them, I don't want to work. I don't want to, I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't believe in religion or is these things will offend somebody you know i don't understand that you know and and that's another thing you know people are offended yeah when you say you don't want to work people get offended at that like how my fucking manager told me it's just it's just something about your generation y'all just don't want to work no more she said that you know i can't stand what old ass people say stupid shit like that yeah, we don't want to fucking work. We never asked to work. And like I said, some people want to work, but they want better working conditions. And they don't want to work unless those conditions are met. <laughs> Whereas me, I don't I don't want to work a job at all. People get offended at that. People, and just like she also told me, when she said, when you're on the clock, we own you. She said that. And she's right. So why would you, why would you get offended when I don't want to be owned by somebody. Why would you get offended? <laughs> Why would you get offended when, you know, I don't want to be owned by somebody? You know, why would that offend you? You know, and that's another thing. A lot of parents, they're so quick to want to sign their kid up to be fucking owned and exploited by a fucking boss. So quick to sign their kids up. Like I was watching Jordan Welch and um, I believe um, I forgot how old he was when his mom told him that. But I think he was like 18, 19. I forgot. And she said, oh, you know, oh, uh, you can't uh, uh, you can't you can't be living here for free. You got to do something. They always quick to want to put you in a rat race to be exploited by a boss and make somebody else rich while you're getting paid crumbs. Parents are so quick to do that want to hurry up and throw you in at a job where you're not even making that much money you're being exploited by somebody making that person rich and you don't got shit their parents are so quick to do that let me hurry up and sign my kid up to work a job and be owned by another person have their time and life owned by someone else they're so quick to do that that, that, that just shows you how much of, of, of slaves these people are. They're, they're, they're just slaves. It's fucking crazy. It's... Oh, are you guys 18? Oh, oh, okay. I got five kids and they're 18 or what? Well, I guess all of them couldn't be the same age, but I got five kids Three, three of them is 18, two is underage. You know what? You guys got to get, get a job. And the other two, y'all be getting a job next year. You know, it's just crazy. They're, they're so quick to want to put you in the rat race. So quick to be exploited by somebody. And, that, that, and that's why I made that video titled, There's No Such Thing as a Good Parent, because there's not. There's no such thing as a good parent. All parents are pieces of shit. Every single one. All of them. You know, with the exception of people who got forcefully impregnated, you know. Because that wasn't their fault. But with the exception of them people, all of them, you know. It's just crazy, man. And then you got some people out here that are fucking like they may have got promoted to like a manager or a higher position in the company. They're climbing the company ladder and they start to become power hungry. They start to think that that the shit don't stink and that they're the fucking king or queen or some shit. But in all actuality, nigga, you still work for nigga. You're, you're still an employee. You're just a higher ranked employee. 
You're still an employee, just a higher ranked version of that. Right? You're still an employee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and some people be telling me, oh, you know, if you if you get this job, you know, you can um you can uh you can work your way up. It's like, bro, I don't have any interest in climbing the company ladder. I have no interest in that at all. I have no interest in climbing the company ladder of another nigga's company. The only thing I'm trying to upscale is my own shit. I'm not trying to upscale somebody else's shit, man. Because I'm still an employee. I don't own it. I can still get fired. It's not like everybody else. I'm not trying to upscale another nigga's shit. <laughs> you know, I'm not, man. And, you know, I I mean, like, I understand certain managers having a little bit of sternness to them because you have to because, you know, people will take advantage of you if you're too nice. So I, I understand it. But I just don't, I just don't want to have a manager at all. I, I mean, I get that they got to be a little stern to, to, to get people to listen because people will take advantage of their kindness if they're too nice and too sweet. I understand that. You know, like I, I, I totally get it. Because even in school, like the super nice teacher got taken advantage of, whereas the teacher who had a little bit of sternness, you know, pe you know, people ain't take advantage of them. So I, I get it, but you know, fuck that shit, man. Fuck it. You know, shit's a joke. You know, we've been taking orders our whole entire fucking life, even as a kid. Teachers, take your headphones out. Uh, spit that gum out. Put your phone up. We're adults still taking orders, man. Kind of shit. That's why I've never been born here, man. Shit like this. Shit stupid. It's, it's just ridiculous. And that's why once I fucking... And I already know this is going to happen, too. It's going to happen. Once I fucking get my shit right, nigga, I'm going ghost, nigga. Because I, I can't stand talking to people. I hate talking to people. I even hate hearing people's fucking voices. Even hearing people's voices just irritates the shit out of me because all they're going to say is some sheep, human sheep shit. I even hate hearing humans' voices sometimes. That's pissing me the fuck off. Just hearing their little fucking human voices, man. Irritates my ass. Fucking piss, irritates the shit out of me. That's why once I get to where I got to go, nigga, I'm going ghost. I'm changing my number, all that shit. Only a certain small few people gonna get my new number. Everyone else who got my old number, I'm changing that shit. <sighs> Fuck out of here. And no one's gonna know where I'm at, where I live at, nothing. That's also annoying too. I don't like people knowing where I live at. I don't care who it is. Family, stranger. I don't like people knowing where I live at, at seriously. I don't really like to have over guests. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just also irritating how people know where you live at. You know? And then, like, let's say that a person knocks on the front door and you don't open it. Uh, let's say that you brought them over to the house at a certain point at a certain point in time. And now, like, they they know how your house looks. Or you live with somebody else and somebody somebody else brings them to the house and now they know the layout of your house and and let's say knock on the door, boom, 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 boom you don't answer, but they know that your bedroom door, I mean, but they know that your bedroom window is right there. They'll come bang on your phone. Hey, hey, open up. They'll bang on your window because they now know where your room is located. And that's just fucking annoying. You know, bang on your window. Hey, open, hey, 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 yo. Like this. Hey, hey. Bang on your motherfucking window. Like, what the fuck you banging on my damn window for? You know? And that's the, that's one of the cons. Like, there's pros and cons to having a house and an apartment. Like, some apartments, it's like, now, like, you do have some apartments that are like, that, that, you know, like, like the entrance doors on the outside. But you have some apartments where it's like, it's like a door, but you have, you, you have to have like a key or like a passcode to get in it. And then you walk to your apartment room door and then you go in there. You know, though, you know, if I, you know, those, 
yeah, there's apartments like that too. Um, I actually had an apartment like that, except the fucking door wasn't, the fucking back door was broken. It, you know, it didn't fully lock. So people can just open it and get in, you know? Yeah, but, you know, yeah, that, that, that provides more security as opposed to a house is not as secure as those kind of apartments because everything is, you know, accessible to the outsiders. And that's just fucking annoying. But I do prefer houses over apartments, but that's one of the cons is that shit, man. <sighs> Knocking on your damn window in the middle of the damn night. It's like, man, get the fuck away from me, man. Like that, that I'm telling you, man. I, I, people just irritate the shit out of me, man. I'm telling you, bro. Banging on your fucking window in the middle of the motherfucking night. Fuck out of here, man. And that's why if I ever get a roommate, I'm, I need a roommate just like me, nigga. We ain't trying to have over that many, have over a whole bunch of guests like that. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody has at least one or two people that that they may bring over, but it needs to be low key niggas and niggas that, you know, fuck having everybody know where you live at, bro. Fuck that shit. Everybody don't need to know where the fuck you live at. It's fucking crazy. I hate having people know where I live, man. Even my own family. I don't even like my own family knowing where I live at. <laughs> I don't, I don't even care. Because like I said, I don't care about that family shit. I'm just a private nigga, bro. You know? I don't want I don't want people coming over. And then you don't open the door. Let's say you just uh, you knock on the door, but you didn't hear it. Now they come banging on your window. Hey, 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 open the door. Open the door. You know? Fuck out of here, man. Get, get away from me. Shit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and people are just annoying, bro. That's not that's another reason why I wish I was never born in this world. People are just so damn annoying. That's another reason why I wish I was never born here cuz people are just fucking annoying. Damn. Oh sir, man. Once I get my own crib, man, no one's gonna know where the fuck I live at, nigga. And no one's fucking invited. <laughs> Maybe some people I'll invite, but that's it's gonna be it. That's a few people I, I can count on one fucking hand. No one else is coming in. Oh sir, Get the fuck out of here. Shit. That's all I gotta say. I'm out. <laughs>